In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use some ifs on Google Sheets with single criteria and multiple criteria. So let's dive into it. So first, let's tackle single criteria. I have two different for the data. I have basically date sold, the website platform and visits. Now, if I had to just get the summary by websites, I just need site one and site two from this column to get the summary. And similarly, if I want to get it for platform, I will get uh, I will use mobile and web. So let's see how we can write the formula for website and then we'll replicate it for platform. So we begin by typing sum and there is ifs here, right? Or if if I do with just one condition, we can use some if now there is a range that we need to give here, right? What is the criteria range? Now this is range, but it's actually the criteria range and the criteria that we need to satisfy that, right? So the criteria range is this one here and I'm going to fix that here, right? Comma, the criteria is going to be the site one, right? So what this will do is it will go through all of this sites and wherever it fights sites, it needs to sum up something, right? And so basically to sum it up, what we need is the website visit. So if I select this one and say F4, this is how you will get the website visits for site one. And so if I close this bracket, I will get 75,233, which is going to be sum of all of these values that is not, that is visible here right and so if i just copy this formula down i should be able to get all of these visits and if i just format it um maybe give it let's say a number format without any decimals this is how it's going to be looking and if i just sum up all of this it's going to be 159525 which is what we have here right so let's do this again i'm going to do it for mobile this time but this time the criteria column is going to be this platform column here. So it's going to be some if the range is this one, I'm going to fix it again by pressing F4 comma. The criteria is going to be this one here. I'm not going to fix it here comma. The sum range is going to be visits again. This is again going to be fixed. And so close the bracket and copy it down by saying control D. And if I just format these three again on the similar top that we have, similar to what we have on the top, uh, you'll see I'll get the same value, but for mobile and for web, the, the values are different. So this is the first way where with single criteria, we are able to use sub -ifs. Now let's see how we can do that with multiple criteria and multiple columns. So I have another sheet, the same data is present here. So what I'm gonna do is now, let me basically take site one and site two. I'm going to paste it here. Similarly, I'm going to take mobile and web and paste it here, right? So I want for site one and site two, mobile and web, right? Similarly, I want it for the site two. And if I copy it down, you'll see I have site one, site two, mobile and web, right? And so let's copy this from here and paste it here and visits summary is what we want here, right? So I want this to be converted to this using some ifs. So to do that, we're going to use some ifs, right? So previously we used some if, which is basically one criteria, one condition and one sum range. That's it, right? But some ifs allows you to use multiple criteria and one sum range, right? So that's why sum range comes first and then you have criteria range one, criteria range two and so on and so forth, right? So we'll begin this time by doing sum range first. So I want to get the sum here. So I will fix F4 here, comma. Now this time I have to place two different criteria ranges, right? So one is websites and then the platform. So let's begin with website first. I select that, I say F4, comma. I select this one here. This is the first criteria comma and so now I have to select platform as a second criteria so I select that one I say f4 comma and then I select this particular mobile platform here right so 
this is the sum range then this is the criteria range then criteria range uh, criteria one criteria range two and then criteria that way if i close the bracket now i will be able to get this particular value and if i say suggested autofill as yes or control enter it should be giving me these values and so if i basically sum up all of the values that are available on top i should be able to get all of these values uh, properly like I have, like we got it in the previous case and and so this is how you use sum ifs with multiple criteria and multiple columns in google sheet to extract a summary if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel